Welcome to Means Wood Show. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you all something that you can do with all that sawdust build up around your shop. And we're going to do a little extra too with some Cheetos. With some Cheetos. Let's check it out. Something I have developed a weird interest in. A weird interest. Lately <laughs> is making soap. Making soap. I don't know why, but this is a DIY making channel. So why not share how to make soap? You know, why not get a little Susie homemaker with it? When you're woodworking, you end up with lots of sawdust. Where's that come from? That is cedar, and this is pine. I mean, like, how does the wood, how do you how do you turn the wood into this? Well, you, you work it. You work it? You work it. <laughs> Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it? That's exactly what you do. You know, it's really weird because in the woodworking world, you learn, like, dust equals bad. Bad dust. Like, don't breathe it. No breathe. Don't let sawdust settle on your skin. Don't eat it. And especially don't eat it. And it's weird, the skin aspect, because, y'all, I ain't just showing you something random here. I've researched this, and it's cool to put sawdust in soap. Actually, what it's going to do is it's going to use, it's going to exfoliate. A little scrub-a-dub. Sawdust in the tub. I have some cedar sawdust here and some pine. We might use both of them. We might use one. I don't know. Now, I'm a novice to soap making, so I'm doing what is called the melt and pour method. Gavin, <laughs> struggles, my friend. And this is uh, just a white soap with shea butter in it. No smell. None Unscented. Because there's, like, really complicated soap stuff, like freaking uh, cold process and hot process, and it... it it gets it gets wild and boy people that like you're wild and out making soap. We're gonna start a soap today, Adam. All right, how many blocks? I do about three. Three blocks. For mine. That fills a mold. So and check it out, everybody. That's that's the soap that's in the a soap. microwave safe bowl. Microwave safe bowl. That's important. And we're gonna go microwave it for thirty seconds. If it's not completely melted, then you microwave it for an additional ten yeah. seconds and so on. So if it looks like that that ice cream that's been Sitting in the bowl for about 20 minutes, which is how Caleb likes his ice cream, by the way. He just likes ice cream soup. And we got our melty soap, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the cedar here. Put as much or as little as you want in there. It looks edible. Those look like little chocolate shavings. <laughs> and just like a bowl of cream. Yum. And see, I use it a drill bit to get these, because you can rub those around in your hands and it's not going to be... Because I'm sure somebody's going to be like, yeah, I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, splintosh. When it comes from the drill bit, it's soft and, and crumbly. I've, I've tested it. So I'm adding in some ground clove. Ground clove. I feel like I should hold my breath. This all looks like drugs, dude. I'm no, not... dude, it smells good. Whoa. Hello. A little bit of ginger. Oh. Get that all mixed in. You, see, you got some decent working time with this. Wow. It still looks edible. It looks like a sauce you would like like saute some meat in and now just for some razzle dazz oh, oh some essential oils some my friend. pine pine needle oh see that comes out one drop at a time unlike caleb's louisiana hot sauce and then boy we'll just dump it right in this here mold it is hot we're gonna get all the bits get all the bits y'all and you should give your soap about 40 minutes. 40 to, minutes to get solid? To cure. To get hard. So there's our soap. It's going to sit for about 40 minutes. And while that is sitting, we're going to work on another soap too. All right, so the next soap we're going to make is uh, you can put whatever you want into soap. So I've got some uh, cheddar powder here. You know, Cheeto ain't going to sell their trademarked powder by yeah. itself. And we've so, looked. And we have looked. So we've, we've got some... Generic cheddar dust here, but we do got some Cheetos you, you need some to exfoliate your skin, so we're gonna they might be kind of stale. Whoa. Oh, is it stale? Way stale, dude. So you want to start crushing those up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun on this channel. It's like I know I'm not doing any cooking here, but I feel like I'm cooking Yeah, they're just sliding around in there really hard to get a pen down on, dude. Dude, this is like super fluffy. It's gonna take a I while. I imagine it a little bit chunky for exfoliating, because we got the fine cheese powder. That's what we got so far, y'all. 
It's like really fluffy. Like it's almost cr- a weird foam crystalline. I know. I think I put in way more than what we actually are going to need. I mean, you put in a decent amount. But... So we got our ingredients. <laughs> Whoa, that part, that's probably much? good. Oh, that's God. probably good. Let's put some of that powder in there. Oh, God. You want to start stirring it, boy? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, it smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm making the mac and cheese sauce. All right, dude, dude that is enough. Oh my god. <laughs> this is nasty. It smells good. No, I hate the smell of artificial cheese powder. I want to, like, dip my tongue in there. What? I want to drink it. All right, now I'm going to just gently pour it into that mold there, boy. <laughs> You get everything, man. Can you not be a filthy old man about it, please? <laughs> like, it looks like a block of, like, smoked cheddar you'd buy from the store. Whoa! Yeah, it's strong. Yowza! Yowza. I am grossed Dude, out the and scent, afraid. The scent is amazing. No, it's not amazing. Oh. It just smells like cheese. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. It's like when you put glue on your fingers as a kid, except <laughs> this is cheese. We'll, we'll let those cure completely. And I think we can demold them now. Oh boy. I'm gonna demold my lovely. Uh, Your actual good soap. It looks, I mean, to be fair, it looks kind of gross, but it smells amazing. You gotta, you gotta. Dude, the only shooting stars break the mold. You gotta convince it. Oh, dude, it's a cool place. <laughs> and they say it gets colder. Head to the rules, wait till you get older. Oh, that smells really good. I like the pine needles, clothes, oh, good, comes good. together very well. Oh yeah, I'm pleased with that one. And now for the monstrosity, the the orange terror. And I'll I'll and pop I'll, it out. I might get it up close. That was oh, uh, <laughs> this straight up looks like a bar of the Slim Jim cheese. Oh, it I looks know just like what it. you're talking about, dude. It is. It's warm, and that's gross to me. It's so strong, y'all. But this is a very special bar of soap, Caleb. Is it not? It is. You want to tell the people why? So, y'all, we made this Cheeto soap, and we can't just make this soap and not use it. Right. We've decided that one of us has got to wash with this soap. Like, full-on bath. Wash the bod in the shower yep. with this soap. He doesn't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Neither of us wants to do it. We just want to see the other person do it so we can laugh at them. So we've reached a stalemate. We know you do too. We need y'all to decide which one of us is going to take the cheese bath. So what you need to do is to stay tuned. On Wednesday, we will have a follow-up to this project going over your comments in general. You can let us know in the comments on the follow-up for this project who gets to take the cheese bath. All you got to do, just let us know which one of us you want to see. Become a in, human nacho. In the cheese, yes. It'll give everybody a week of voting and deciding who gets to take the cheese bath. And the next follow-up after that, one of us is taking the cheese bath. One of us is dipping the big cheese. If you like this project, it is a good use for some of that sawdust that builds up around your shop. It'll do some good exfoliating for your skin, and you can make you some nice, pleasant soap. Good project for some of that built-up cheese dust. So, if you liked and enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up, because that helps with some stuff. Like it what? helps dip the algorithm in cheese. <laughs> yeah, we want that cheesy algorithm. We want, we want that our algorithms cheesy, but not our bodies. Yes. So, vote for Caleb, December 2020. Well, it's 2019. Close. <laughs> it's closer to Adam, so vote for Adam. Well, it's your birthday. Not today. This is going to be after my birthday. Well, it's after it's your birthday, and... You guys want to see Caleb wash with cheese bar on his birthday. I think y'all want to see Adam wash with cheese bar because it's after my birthday, y'all. Adam misled you with misinformation, so I think he should have to pay the price. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Later, y'all. It's not done until you say bye-bye. I was trying to be cool. You don't want to say bye-bye this time. I'm a cool boy. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>